guys we are here i am going in um and this is for the first set of testing i am here until at least one this is my fight song take back my life song prove them all right song hey guys it is like three-ish and I currently have a fever a little bit um, and my face is all flushed so as you can see I have leads on my chest so for anyone that doesn't know a lot about medical um, I went to Deborah today I did take you guys along a little bit more so hopefully that's that's good enough um, it was a really long day. I had to be there at 8.45 in the morning. And then I didn't leave until like 2.30ish. So it was super long and boring and yeah. But I got to watch the Eagles parade on TV when I was waiting. So that was exciting. Go Eagles. Underdogs. They pulled it out. So anyway, back to medical. Um... I have this fancy little monitor, and it's like on my, I'm not going to really show you guys because it's all over my chest, but it's on up here, down here, um, and basically, this is my fourth one, unfortunately, that I've had in the last year, um, so today I went to Deborah to get the, I did the tilt table test in the summer and I went to Deborah to get the treadmill test done today wow I'm really out of it I keep saying the same thing and it came back I don't want to say normal but it came back okay um, I was really only on the treadmill for about 10 minutes I was told it was an hour long thing but because of like my sub luxing joints and hip pain and all of my stuff going on right now I really couldn't make it much longer so they had to get your heart rate up to a certain amount um, so mine increased pretty rapidly which was a little bit weird then I went back out in the waiting room and then I went and saw the electro I'm gonna say this wrong I always say everything wrong on YouTube the electro something team I'll leave it at that and they were very nice I do love Deborah um, very educated they feel that based on my tilt table results from Cooper uh, over the summer and a few other things that there are a few more tests that we should do just to confirm um, any other issues there could be so I had gotten an echo done uh, last week and that was to rule out pulmonary hypertension. We did rule that out, so that is good. Um, the bad thing about that is it seems to be looking like I do have POTS, which unfortunately I didn't really want because there is no treatment for it and it's just not a fun thing to deal with. So we hooked me back up to a heart monitor and I'm not a fan of these. Um, for a number of reasons. One, I already have issues sleeping and as little as it looks, it's super uncomfortable and it could fall off and then you have to worry about fix. It's just, it's a lot of work. Um, two, with my skin, it gets very irritated very quickly. So even having this on for probably another hour, it'll start to bother me, which I'm not a fan of. Um, three, it's just, it doesn't always give the best results so unless I'm having some sort of flare or palpitation or any of that stuff it's not going to show anything uh, and lastly I need to carry around a book with me with it well in addition to my um, book bag and everything else that I carry um, and every time I have some sort of symptom I have to stop what I'm doing write down the time that's on this little thingy, write down the symptom and all of that stuff. So it's not the most convenient way to do it. 
Um, I am going to try to think of a different way, maybe like writing it in my cell phone because I do carry that. But this one, luckily, we negotiated a little bit, so we had a few options with the monitors. Um, there is one that goes under your skin. We did talk about that one, but because of everything going on, I just don't have the time to go back there to get it done right now, and I want the results a lot quicker. Um, that may come back to bite me in the butt at some point, but for now we're just doing the 48 hour one again and hoping that we get some sort of results. Um, with whatever results we get from this, we may end up doing the longer one that can last up to two years inside. It goes under your skin and it's like an injection. You did show me that. We went over that just so when I go back we're kind of prepared. Um, and they can check that at any time which is a little bit more convenient, but it just, you have to book it, and I have the abrasion procedure on Valentine's Day next week, and a few other doctors that it's just going to be a long week next week. So, we just felt like this was maybe the best for now. Um, so yeah, that was my day at Debora, and they have great doctors, and, um, we are hoping that this does show something, and if it does show some issues, then we're going to have to go with another test, and that's one where I'm hoping I'm put under, because they go through your, like, groin, and they kind of like a scope, um, and look at all your stuff, and your heart, and everything, but I don't want to be awake for that. So, that is medical right now. Um, I'm not sure if I updated you guys. I'm trying to make this quick. I always say that though. On my neck and my brain and everything that's going on. As of right now, we do not have a decision still. Um, we are looking at a few different options. We are definitely doing the surgery. We just don't know the date. Um, if we're doing co-surgeon, if we're doing more than two surgeons, um, so they would all work together because it is a pretty invasive big surgery and we want the best and we don't want to risk anything going wrong, um, at least with what we can do. So even if we have to pay, we want it done the best way possible. So we do not have a decision on that yet. When we do, I will update everyone. Um, is another one of the car videos sorry i tried to talk into bora but every time i did a doctor came in so it didn't work out but anyway i'm trying to think of what else is going on right now right now it is kind of late but it's the end of national eating disorder week awareness slash whatever you want to call it um I am having a lot of issues with that currently. I think just because I haven't really been home the last three Janu four Januaries, well, not including, so three, um, not including this one. And I didn't really ever see the diet stuff in January and the uh, New Year's resolutions and all of that stuff because I was always in the hospital or any of that. So it didn't really hit me. Um, this year it has, unfortunately, so I was doing pretty good. I was, I would have been a year this month in recovery, but unfortunately in the end of January, I started having a lot of issues. So I was off by about two weeks before it would have been a year. So, I mean, it happens, things happen, you go through all different kinds of stuff so we are looking into a few options for that just because it's getting pretty bad pretty quick um, so even with vlogging and stuff it's kind of I don't really like putting that stuff out there I'm okay with medical but mental stuff is a little bit harder because it's kind of on you you're supposed to be able to handle it and deal with it and that's something you can kind of control and uh, it's much more difficult than people think it is. So, unfortunately, I did not hit my one-year mark, but I can try again. There's always room for improvement, and we're just crossing our fingers that 
this can be prevented before it gets very, very bad like it has before. So, um, I don't think I have anything else to update you guys on right now. I told you about the heart monitor. I told you about the rib procedure. Um, brain stuff. Um, yeah. I think that's basically it right now. Um, I have some other personal stuff going on, but I'm not going to put that on social media or YouTube or anything ever. So, um, it's nothing concerning. It's just stuff that's personal. And other than that, I mean, it's just one day after another and you just got to keep moving forward. So with that, I will leave you guys and thank you for following me on my fight to freedom.